Hi! So, um, I'm making a really random video. I'm gonna try really hard to not make it 10 or 20 or 30 minutes long. The last video that I tried to record was over 30 minutes long. I don't want it to be that long. Just something short and sweet. So, hi! <laughs> Um, so basically, um, you're probably wondering what the crap kind of video is this. Um, basically, since it is in the, um, middle of the semester, um, I kind of wanted to kind of show off because I am taking a language course, and yes, it's Japanese. Um, but, so I kind of wanted to show off, like, what I've learned so far and everything because I'm really excited. Like, this language is super fun to learn, um, along with the other languages, well, the other only language that I think was fun to learn was sign language. So this is like the second best thing. Um, but it's it's nice to learn a language that I can actually speak. Like, I haven't learned a language I can speak since high school. Which, actually, yeah. So it's been a few years. Um, but yeah, so the language is really cool. Um, basically, I've learned all of hiragana. Um, which if you don't know much about Japanese, I will tell you that there are, they have three different alphabets. I know you're probably wondering, like, holy crap, what is that? So, like, it seems, like, super, like, scary and, like, holy crap, but it's really, really simple. So basically they have kanji, which is a symbol for an entire word, um, and then they have hiragana and katakana, which is basically the individual sounds, um, like ka, ko, sa, se, like those have their own symbols, um, which actually makes learning language really, really easy, because like how it is in English, like there's like words that... Um, have a bunch of letters and depending on the context you will either say them or you don't say them or like it's very English is very confusing so um but with the Japanese it's like you see the symbol you know like no matter what the context is you know that's the sound it, you, know, you know the sound um so it's very easy to like learn um and today we started learning uh katsukana so I'm slowly inching my way into that realm um, but yeah, so I figured I will just be quick, um, and kind of give you a rundown of what I've learned so far. Um, basically, obviously, the very beginning was, like, introductions, um, like, hi, how are you, good morning, good afternoon, blah, blah, blah. So, like, uh, ohayou gozaimasu is good morning, konnichiwa is good afternoon, or hello, um, konbanwa is good evening, oyasumi nasai is I said that like really weird um but that's good night um uh arigato gozaimasu thank you uh domo arigato gozaimasu which is like a thank you so much type thing um and um then how to introduce yourself so i'll just give you a phrase and then tell you what it means um so hajimemashite ashite desu dozo yoroshiku so basically what that means is hajimemashite is basically like how do you do like something that you say some say to someone when you first meet them um and then obviously ashley does i'm ashley um and then dozu yoroshiku is nice to meet you um and then something that i thought was really cool so basically a common thing in japan is to hand or give someone your name card or like a business card type thing and um so when you give someone your name card or your business card whatever um then you normally they let you like say what you're affiliated with whether that's your job or your school or whatever so since we are in school my teacher had us introduce ourselves as if we um are affiliated with our school which is we were state um so for example i will give you a a phrase basically um the phrase that you say if you're affiliated with something and then giving someone your name card so you go hajimemashite weber shuritsu daigaku no ashi desu um Kore watashi no meshi desu. So basically I just said, I'm Ashley from Weber State University. Here's my name card. Um, and yeah. Um, let's see. We've also learned how to count. So, ichi ni san shi go 
Roku na na hachi kyu ju ju ichi ju ni ju sen ju shi ju go ju roku ju whatever and then um ni ju is 20 so ni ju ichi ni ju ni ni ju san whatever like that um the numbers are actually very fairly simple to learn as well i'm slowly kind of remembering k6 is Roku or whatever stuff like that. Um, it's, it's a little longer process to learn the numbers. Just bam out of like, like, what's thirty five? And you automatically know thirty five. I'm slowly getting there. It's a slow process, but I'm slowly getting there. Um, then like how to tell time. So for example, it's almost nine o'clock. Um, so, oh, I know that one. So, Q, what's Kuji? Uh, kuji desu, which means it's nine o'clock. Um, there are specific, uh, things to say if it's, like, quarter till or 55 or, like, 8.55, whatever. But those are, like, super, like, complicated and I haven't necessarily wrapped my head around it. So I'm kind of just sticking with, like, even numbers, like, you know. Um, there's that. Uh, we've learned how to ask someone if they like something. Um, what type of something do they like, and how to, um, how to say our level of likeness of something. So, for example, because I'm a cheater, I swear I know this, but since I'm making a video, I can't, like, I just want to be able to say it real fast, and not, like, say it super slow or anything, you know, and waste time saying something. So, if you were to ask me if I like something, okay, and I don't like it, I don't like it, um, like I just downright despise it, okay, so, so if you'd say, oh, do you like this, right, and then if I say, oh, I don't like that, then you say, yeah, could I does, means I don't like that, um, if I do like it, um, then I'd say, hi, ski des. So, yes, I like it. Um, if I don't like it, but I want to be nice about it, like, ah, I know you like it, I just don't like it, like that type of thing, then you would say, um, I don't know why, but hi, hi is yes, um, and ie is no, so, uh, it would really be, uh, ie kirai ja arimasen. So, I don't like it. I'm sorry. I don't like it. Um, and then I don't dis. I like it. I don't like it, but I don't dislike it. Like that type of thing. Um, would be ie ski ja arimasen. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I was like confused for a moment. Um, so it's like I don't dislike it, so it's like okay. Um, dona means what of something do you like? So, for example, I could say, Dona yasai ga ski desu ka, which means that's like tongue twister in my mouth. Um, so basically that says, so, Dona yasai ka, ah, uh, not ka. Sorry, I'm just like trying to remember all these like symbols, or not symbols, but like words and stuff. Um, so, Dona yasai ga ski desu. Ka. So that means, what kind of vegetable do you like? And then you would respond with, I like, uh, kiwi? So, um, uh, I don't know how to say that. Anyway, you get the gist. Um, so there's that. Um, also, I forgot to say, uh, sumimasen. Which is like, excuse me, ooh, how to ask if you're somebody, um, which I don't have a random name that I could say, but we know that. Um, then I also made some flashcards because we've gone into a chapter where I don't know, like, like it's a lot of vocabulary that I'm not familiar with. Um, like the beginning uh, chapters were more like, hi, how are you? Like, konnichiwa, genki desu ka? Um, ohayou gozaimasu, those type of things that I already know. Um, but these chapters are a little more difficult. 
because I'm not familiar with the terms. So I made flashcards. Well, I've decided to color coordinate them. Color coordinate, color code them, whatever. Um, so blue is nouns. And red, it looks pink. It's red, I promise. Uh, red, it's upside down too, so psh, red is verbs. So, I will go through because then it's just more words that you can learn. Um, so, I did write these a certain way. Um, I'll show you in uno momento, which is Spanish. You're getting all kinds of languages in this video. Um, so, basically, for example, and my camera records backwards, so you won't be able to read it. But so I have the word in English letters so that it can be easier for me to learn how to say it um, and read, like, mostly just say it. And then I have the hiragana, hiragana form on the bottom. So then whenever I'm reading something in Japanese, whether that's manga or um, whatever it is, and I happen to see these... Um, collection of um, hiragana symbols that I'm like oh I know that that's this word because in Japanese they just put everything all in one they don't put any spaces which I had a trouble with when I was doing my homework because now we have to write everything in hiragana and I would put spaces in between each word or whatever but I kept running out of room on my paper of like the line of like whatever um, so I had to train myself to put no spaces. Do you know how difficult that is? To train yourself that you've been doing for 22, almost 23 years, of when you write a word, you put a space in between every single word. And now I'm trying to teach my brain, oh no, no spaces, spaces are bad. I mean, technically spaces aren't bad, I don't think, but that's just not how things roll. So I'm trying to teach myself the proper way. Um, so I'm gonna give you some words, and plus it'll help you hear me say Japanese so it may not be phrases I kind of gave you phrases oh here's one um Nihongo Nihongo no Hon <sighs> Yomimasu no I, I missed something uh Nihongo no Hon o Yomimasu I think I said that correctly which means I read Japanese books which would be like manga, which technically it's not true. I'm going to on um, one of these paydays when I have a little bit of money, to, more money to spare, and I can stop. Uh, what's the word? Impulse buying. Um, I want to buy a couple manga books that are completely in Japanese, so I can practice my Japanese reading. Which I can read Japanese quite well. It's a little, I'm a little slow, but I mean, I'm learning, so. But I can read, I can read hiragana. It's amazing. Um, so let's just go through some vocabulary. What I've noticed too, I learned this the other day, or not the other day, like the other video that I made that I'm now trashing, um, that a lot of the verb words end in su, which you don't always say the oo sound, but su, which so I'm gonna ask my teacher and be like, hey, is that common? Like all the verbs and stuff end in soup? Because every single one of these ends in soup. So, yeah. So, let's just go through some vocabulary. So, kikimasu, listen. Omimasu, get up. Uh, kakimasu, right? Uh, hanashimasu, speak. Uh, shimasu, do. Uh, Kare, kareimasu, kareimasu, this word is always hard for me to say, but it means to return, um, mimasu, look or watch, backwards, ikimasu, go, um, denwa o shimasu, make a phone call, deito shimasu, go on a date, uh, renshu shimasu, practice, benkyo shimasu, study, um, tabemasu, eat, tabemasu, asagohan, eat breakfast, uh, 
Um, actually, it's Asakohan Otabimos Eat Breakfast. Um, yeah. Uh, no mimas drink. Uh, nimas sleep, which I will be doing very soon. Um, kimas come. Um, so then we have mounts. Okay, my neck is killing me right now. I need a back rub, not a back rub, a neck rub. Actually, a back rub would be great. So if anybody wants to teleport over here. Um, jogging, can you guess, can you guess, uh, jogging, um, Ega movie, which I've noticed a lot of the nouns too are like, they're very similar to English words, which you'll notice that with a lot of these, suki, skiing, sue, swimming, shiji, seating, uchi, House, sash, uh, sashi, magazine, terebi, television, tenesu, tennis, rap, rap music, dorama, drama, kako, uh, school, book, um, book, uh, Hokushingu, boxing. Some of these have to like slow down. Um, Nuzu, can you guess? News. Um, Saka, soccer. Roku, rock music. Uh, Rajio, radio. Piano. Piano. <laughs> That's like the most English word. Piano. Pizza. 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 Um. Kurashiku. Classic music. She. Uh, Shigoto. Work. Uh. Toshokan. That is library. Bam, I know that one. Uh. Hutobo. Huto mm -hmm. Boru football. Uh, Kandori and Western. Can you guess? <laughs> uh, country and Western music. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, aerobics, aerobics, Shinbun, newspaper, Kaki, musical instrument. Guitar, guitar, on, book, a bunch of flashcards that are empty. So you kind of get a gist. I'm slowly learning vocabulary. I mean, that's not even half the vocabulary that I've learned. Um, it's just the ones that I've put in flashcards. Um, so there is that. My head itches, but I have my kid ears. So I can't scratch it. Um... I know. I feel like that's kind of the gist of what I've learned. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I could. There are these tongue twisters in my workbook that I tried to read on the other video, but I was really, really slow. Um, but it's like really cool. I don't know. Like, I just like the language. And the, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I'm really excited for, to learn this language. I mean, it's cool to learn an actual spoken language again. Um, especially something so completely different. Like, not only is, like, the words different, you know, like, from English, but even though that, even the alphabet is different. So it's like a completely new language that you're learning. And it's like, I don't know, it's a cool experience. Um, which, yeah, it's cool. Um, and sometime in the future, like, it's not going to be soon or anything, I don't think. Um, but I do want to go on a trip um, 
to Japan, and I may take a little friend with me, winky winky, if you know who you are, um, because we've kind of mentioned it, like, not really serious or anything, like, I don't know, but, um, but I think it would be really cool to go there, and then if I stick with this language and actually, like, keep it in my mind and not forget it, um, then I think it would be cool to go over there and not be like every typical tourist and not know anything. Um, and like if you get lost, you're pretty much screwed because not a lot of Japanese people know English, so then you're kind of just like pointing and like, what? <laughs> um, so yeah, I think it would be cool, um, especially if I know the language because then um, I or we, whoever I go with, um, we can, you know, enjoy the, enjoy it more, I guess, than being worried about, oh, are we lost? Where are we? Oh, we need help, but I can't speak. Like, you know what I mean? Um, so it's kind of cool. Um, I definitely recommend anyone learning this language. You may think, oh, holy crap, there's like a lot of stuff. It's completely different. Like, it's, it, like, and it'll maybe make you think that it's really harder than it really is. It's really not that difficult. Um, you just have to study hard and, um, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, so I think that's another reason why I've kind of learned very easily. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Um, if you want to hear more, then just message me or something or text me and I will chat with you later. Okay, bye!